Hello, hello, Rugby Hub viewers. How are you guys doing? Query, lovely to see your beautiful face again. Hey, Gabsy. <laughs> yes, boy. Good welcome to see you back. as well. And uh, yeah, welcome, viewers. We are back. This week is a bit different. There was no rugby. We are all a bit sad, but what we got for you this week is uh, a team of the tournament so far after the first two rounds. It's just 15 players. Of course, it's not the easiest task. It's been a huge turnaround from the first game week to the second game week. Each team has one W and uh, please give us your comments and thoughts. We are super grateful for all the comments that we got on the last video. And uh, yeah, please give us your thoughts after this one. Um, but yeah, Gwiri, <laughs> what do you have to say? I think it's not going to be an easy task. Not at all, man. But I mean, look, we looked at the stats. We both watched uh, the games um, to see which players uh, performed the best. Um, and as you mentioned, obviously, um, we, we we won't be always correct with our selections, but that's why the rugby hub viewers are there for, right? So that's why everyone can leave a comment uh, who they would rather pick. If you guys think we are being biased, beautiful, tell us, because uh, we we definitely for sure is. Uh, so um, I'm gonna get straight into it, Gab. So I picked the forwards, um, which was a tough task because uh, I'm in. My knowledge I about you, it wasn't rugby. any easier than choosing the backs, but okay. Let, let's no, 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 for it. sure not, for <laughs> sure not. But I don't, you got to look at the stats when you look for, for forwards. Uh, um, and yeah, you got to look, I guess, tackle percentage. Uh, you look at uh, amount of runs, run meters. We take penalty, conceded. Um, so we looked a bit at, at everything on ESPN stats. And uh, we got to the following. So Gads, I'm going to jump straight into it with the front row. Let's go. At, Number one, we have the Argentinian young man, 23-year-old Tomas Gallo. Massive. I hope I'm pronouncing it. Yeah, ma dude, two tries in, in that second game. He scored eight carries, 21 meters, um, super solid in the scrum. He didn't start the first game, uh, Argentina versus Australia, but he came off the bench and it was still very good. But that uh, second game, he was so great. I mean, you, you, you got unanimous a, you got decision. A unanimous decision. Unanimous, straight across the board. Okay. Second, might get a few uh, comments on this one, but I went with Malcolm Marks for hooker. No, um, definitely, definitely. The, Gabsy, the man of the match performance in that first game against the All Blacks. You get a man of the match performance against an All Black side, you got to maybe even pick him straight away. He didn't start in that on second his game. On his 50th cap. No. He came well on for Joseph Dueba very early. Um, in that second game, um, and uh, still performed very well. I mean, how many turnovers did he get in that in that first game? Something like four crucial turnovers uh, in that game. Eight carries, twenty-four meters. Um, no, he was enormous. I mean, geez, yeah, a real Definitely. thorn in the side. But special mention to um, Sami Sony Tokiaho. I thought uh, he was very good for the All Blacks in both games. He got a try as well. Um, I think that second game was 12 carries, 20 meters, two defenders beaten, big physical lad. We actually spoke about him in the preview. Um, yeah. And yeah, it turned out to be, um, yeah, it turned out to be one of the guys that we should have uh, watched out for. So um, ending that front row, uh, packing it in the scrum, I went with uh, France Malerba for this one. Um, look, there are a few props that also stood yeah. out, but when it comes to the dark arts of scrumming, uh, you got to look no tackles. further than France Malerba. I mean, that guy, true. At, I mean, in that second game where, where it was his 50th um, test match, he made 12 tackles and he always got the better of his opponents in the scrum. Uh, so, no, I thought... Uh, yeah, he's, thought he's a tackle machine, man. Mentioned. He's a tackle machine. And the service of uh, that he does in that scrum, scrummaging for 50 test matches for South Africa. So, I went with him. Then um, filling up that tight five um, for uh, the lock positions, I went with Thomas Lavanini, the man who... Well-deserved. The refs, yeah, well-deserved. Usually the refs uh, kind of give him the come here because um, he, he struggles to keep his hands clean um, around the rock area especially. But I mean, that guy's a tackle machine um, in both games. He was huge, uh, really led on the front foot, extremely physical. And yeah. uh, for Argentina, really brought his A game. And it both games, think, over uh, 10 tackles each. So that's pretty impressive. And, yeah, no, it's, he, was, he was great. Um, to partner up with him, I went uh, Louis de Jager um, or de Jager. M Mr. Consistency, his work rate and his physicality just also around the breakdown areas, his tackles that he makes, uh, super solid in both games. 
Um, special mention for sure to Sam Whitelock and actually Scott Barrett as well. And then Darcy Swain from Australia. Now you have to uh, pick one, go on. You have to pick one. <laughs> I know, this is getting ridiculous. That's why, I mean, I got to go. I, I got to go load the Aachen in this sense. Uh, for a big okay. man, it really gets around the park. So uh, give Love it to him. You. And then uh, the loose is obviously you got blind side and open side in South Africa is different than the other Southern Hemisphere um, teams or actually in the world. But I went with uh, Fraser McWright. Um, he came in for late withdrawal from uh, Michael Hooper. Big yeah, shoes. Very big shoes. I thought to he football. played exceptionally well, actually. I mean, he he is a kind of a like for like player, like uh, Michael Hooper. Obviously, mm -hmm. not exactly the same because Michael Hooper is an absolute animal. But I thought uh, Fraser McWright really did well. Um, and uh, he also got a try. I think it was in the first game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, he was super good. And he actually looks a little bit like Michael Hooper back in the day. He's got a or uh, with a scrum pad on. But anyways, um, then uh, for number seven, I went uh, Juan Martin Gonzalez. The man is everywhere where the ball is. Um, what a player. <laughs> he's a hunter. Yeah, so he scored a try in both games. Uh, I thought he was huge. Uh, busy as a bee. Absolutely everywhere. Um, a thorn in the side of uh, the other team. Uh, Australia, who, who they played against. And uh, yeah, no, I thought he was big. Obviously, there's a few mentions that we can give, but let's just uh, finish off with number eight, Adi Savia. I mean, the man is just... Machine. Uh, he's machine. a machine. They, he is an absolute machine. I mean, when he first gets going and he gets that leg drive going, then he's a difficult man to stop. And he's proven, yeah. even in the games that the All Blacks have lost now in recent times, he was always a standout performer. Um, definitely in contention for World Player of the Year so far. Uh, so, uh, Adi Savia for sure. And then, yeah, I mean, we've the two of us, Gabsy, we've uh, definitely gone over this list a few times and yeah. uh, argued. Uh, one of them was also for Rob so, Valentini of course. from Australia. Yeah, this, one I mean, of the only standout players in that second game for them, to be honest. But yeah, yeah. I mean, the, he really gets around the park well. Um, he's quick for a big man and physical. Yeah, so you gotta love that. But obviously, can't pick everyone, Gab. So he's, he's almost like the Audi Sevilla, but not quite. Um, so yeah, <laughs> exactly, no. almost the same, but not. Yeah, um, uh, but yeah, Gabzi, that's the first eight that I have for you, man. Over to the backs yeah. before. As yeah, a as a as a backline coach and a backline specialist, I'm going to jump straight of into course. it. Beautiful. <laughs> um, so on number nine, there was really no stood outs, and uh, maybe you guys can give me your input here. But we're going to go with Gonzalo Bertranal. Bertranal. Yeah, I know you practice <laughs> um, that pronunciation. Probably a so hundred times today here. already, but uh, yeah. So. <laughs> Um, he didn't yeah, play the first though. game. He came in the second game and he had a huge game. Uh, scrum off, had yeah. eight tackles. He didn't miss any tackles. He beat a couple of defenders. And he was really mm. quick around the park. Uh, got a quick good ball for the for the Really Argentina ignited team. the Argentinian attack. Um, yeah. So, so, yeah. Definitely, uh, for me, uh, yeah, I, I went mm. with that. And uh, Nick course, White as well. Yeah, I, I mean, Nick was, White is worth a mention. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I gave this one to Petra now. Petra now. Yeah. <laughs> Better no. Um, then on 10, definitely will, there will be dispute, but I went for Andre Pollard. Um, he played both games. I think he was rather solid consistent. with the T, yeah. consistent. Uh, I think second in the point scoring right now for the championship this far. Um, yeah. And yes, Richie Mahonga, worth a mention, had a super game in the that's outing on Alice Park. Uh, but Big difficult, Porter, right? He know. didn't start that first game. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Really that's why I went with yeah. Paulie playing both games. Getting the mm. nod is also something above your opponent. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. all out on 10. Then uh, 11, I went for Boffelli. Um, he played. Emiliano. Exactly. Good. He played one game on the How one wing and the other one on the other. But uh, How good you know, was he, man? He scored a try. He scored enormous a try. off the boot as well. Off the tee as well. Like, uh, yeah. He's the leading point scorer right now. First game, In 18 points. Second game, 16. Yeah, um, yeah really solid. I uh, think it mm. was a unanimous decision there. Um, yeah, no, you've then, got to go Buffelli. Sadly, on 12, I, it took me ages to find someone. And then uh, <laughs> I, I went for the guy. I that hope scored, that he played. Did he have these in one of the I games? went for a guy that scored the most unique try. I feel like he invented oh, yeah? something new here. So I went for Geronimo Delafuento for that oh, amazing... Delafuente. 
hamstring move that he did. Um, just for that try, he's making it into 12 because I looked at all what the stats again, of all the centers and it's he, just he's something, he nothing to brag about. Hamstring, right? He was on his way to the trial and then he faked yeah. pulling a hamstring. I don't know if he, he did he that, by, but it, it's almost like a freeze goose step pulling a hamstring. I don't know what he did. <laughs> And then he went on his score a try. Um, I mean, the other inside centers are really the uh, Allender and uh, I think yeah. it was two different ones for the for the Aussies. Uh, Hunter, what's it? Hunter, Paisami, yeah. Paisami, yeah. he played a good a game the first machine. one. But anyways, yeah. so that one goes out to, to Jerome. Ger Geronimo. Defend yeah, he survived the <laughs> sniper attack uh, in the stadium and went on to score. So, so <laughs> you got to give you got to give it to him. Give him yeah, some credit. Sure. Then to a much easier decision on thirteen. I think uh, this is also yeah, a unanimous decision. I don't um, even have to say it. I, yeah, let's go on to fourteen. Um, no, Lucano. <laughs> um, what a player. Yeah, what no, a man. Lucanio, um... Probably along with Ardi Sevilla, definitely one of the best players in the world rugby right now. Um, for sure. He was huge in both games, running meters well over a hundred. Um, you know, he scored a try in the first game. Yeah. Um, you know, he's just an amazing player, and right now, you know, he deserves to be all over the media. I think there's so many memes mm -hmm. going on about him, like these memes like trying to find another outside center right now and there's nobody <laughs> around him. Um, yeah. So anyways, Lucano, well done. You definitely make that team mm -hmm. with a, probably a captain, triple captain. Without a doubt. Yeah, uh, for um, sure. Yeah. Then uh, 14, I went with Caleb Clark. He had, uh, yeah. you know, two solid back-to-back yeah, -back performances. I thought so as well. Um, you know, He's good. Yes, Mapimpi was also not bad, um, but Caleb, I, I'll give him that one also for, for our Kiwi fans. He got a lot of touches, and yeah. He, yeah, he always goes looking for the ball and breaks tackles. Uh, I think the defenders beat him in both games was yeah. uh, a few at least. So He also um, made quite made a bit of tackles, tackles himself. Yeah. So, yeah, solid two games. I'm definitely thinking there's a lot more to see of him. You know, he also mm. sent two South yeah, Africans off the field with concussions. Um, glad yeah. those players are fine. But yeah, let's yeah. switch over to 15. Damien Willemse played his second okay. game. Yeah. Um, uh, most of the game on inside center. Nevertheless, mm. super solid game on his first game on 15. Once it again shows, you know, how versatile he is switching into 12. I mean, he played, played there at the URC. Um, and yes, he did concede a yellow card in the, the second test, but actually he saved a try there. And I, I think all in all, he's really solid right now. And, and he's probably one of the better players in that South African 15 at the moment. And really excited yeah. to see what he will bring. He's really um, in good form throughout. at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. The, and, and really making that 15 jersey his own. So No, definitely. Um, um, yeah. I'm wondering if we'll see him at 12, but we can talk about that another time. Um, yeah. I want to wrap it up there, you know. Say I do want to give a quick mention. Got to go yes. um, to uh, Jordan Pattaya from Australia okay. on the wing. Yeah. I thought he was great. You All mentioned right. him, Hunter Paisami, but I mean, yeah. still, yeah. if you if you fake a if you fake a hammy injury and then go into score, I mean, you're gonna get picked. You're gonna so get you, picked. You gotta go to I mean, so for that one. Anyways, give us also yeah. your thoughts because I'm pretty sure that you guys have uh, different views. And uh, please yeah. comment and tell us what you think of that 15. Um, of course, mm -hmm. you know, we would love to see what you guys have to say. And thank you so much for, for, the, for the love this far, for the comments and the, you know, the likes and the subscribes. Please keep coming back we'll for more. Check you guys on the, the, on the preview uh, later this week. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Gwiri. Take care. Thank you, Gabzi. Cheers, Bye. Brother. Cheers, guys. Bye.